So I saw the technique, you just pretty much start sucking. Pause. Alright, I'm gonna make a quick little, like, proper intro, I guess, alright? <clears throat> Good afternoon, everyone. This is Aldwin from the Aldwin YouTube channel. Alright, hey guys. So, uh, today's video, today's just about my day, right? Before we get into the other stuff that I got going on today, uh, I wanted to quickly talk about what happened uh, last night really quickly, actually. So for some of you that are like really detailed, yesterday's video was actually three minutes late. Now, there's a couple reasons for that. Uh, well, there's one reason. It's just, I just made a big mistake, right? My bad. It's not too deep, it's not too deep. I edited like half of it the night prior and then I edited the next half like right before uploading. So it was kind of one of those like buzzer beaters, you know what I mean? But except I didn't make the shot. I was three minutes late, bro. Hope you guys found yesterday's video interesting somewhat. If you guys found a little bit of interest in it, that's all that matters. And I actually wanted to tell you guys a bit of a scare last night fear that shot through my body this is just as bad as like a pregnancy scare pretty much right last night i was getting ready to edit it was a little late but it's all good got out of my bed boom lights out i thought kind of nothing of it because like we've been having like blackouts recently for some reason so i thought nothing of it i was like you know give it about a couple minutes and once it comes up it's it's ready to go that's not exactly what happened the lights turned on and everything everything was back to normal as i thought and then i went to my computer to turn it on nothing turn off the computer turn it on again nothing it's not like i turned it off because there was nothing to turn off it wasn't even on what i did is i i like turned off the switch really quickly for my extension cord tried to turn the computer on nothing still i did that for about five minutes and finally the the computer powered back on so I had a bit of a rough night last night all right uh i'm sorry Basic. all right so i dropped a video yesterday talking about my six months uh, my set, bro. bro. I talked about my six months doing the daily series. I got a comment from Cassandra here. It's pretty much a whole Bible, but I actually wanted to read it to you guys since this is kind of like my first reaction to it, and I just wanted to see. We're gonna talk about the comment here really quickly because I, I think it opened up a conversation. Ah, I've been here for five years. Had to scroll back to your setup video to find that Jesus Christ. Which setup video? I think I had like nine, man. Admittedly, it's the first time you're consistently uploading stuff that I also will take t the time out of my day to watch it. Appreciate it again. And until Casey Neistat stopped daily vlogging, it's been a while since I've done that. I've also tried to keep commenting because I want the algorithm to pick you up. And as we'd say in Dutch, uh, <laughs> it gonna hit you. Roughly translating to, I wish it upon you. Although I swear it sounds less ass down here. It just sounds like it gonna hit you. Like it, like it's gonna hit you. I guess it's almost like a very similar meaning. I wish upon you, like, it gonna hit you. I guess in this context it sounds fair. Initially, I found you when I was also trying to hustle a YouTube career like any 16 year old who was mildly involved back then. Yeah, like, I swear to God, man, there was a phase where, like, people started- well, honestly, it's only expanding more and more now. Like, I swear to God, if you go to a school, now compared to like i don't know like 10 years ago since you know your boy's a veteran 10 years ago if i said that i was a youtuber i'd get clowned on i'd actually be put in a locker man like I, i'd like i'd be hung upside down for lunch money like it'd be it'd be bad but now everything has like flipped a switch if you say that you're a youtuber now it's like oh shit like, ooh, this guy's a big deal, whatever. Like, even if you got, like, 2,000 subscribers, let's talk about me here real quick, where if I say that I'm a YouTuber to someone, they're like, oh my god, you're famous. Even if I was, it's just the notion that people go to right away when you say that you're a YouTuber. They always go with, like, oh, you're famous. And obviously, to me, that's not the case. It's just an interesting thing that people go to. Coming from 10 years ago, where you would be clowned for it, and, you know, for some people, they'd be like, what's a YouTuber? All the way to now, people praise you for that shit. It's crazy. Nowadays, though I'm just here like any other viewer, life changed, and much like you, I also have a job and rent to pay. You live on the other side of the globe, and I like seeing the side quests you go on down there. It's different from our lives here, yet in practice, also very similar. I'm surprised you kept going after so many hiccups and periods of no content, but honestly, I'm all for it. It's inspiring, and if... It's a- bro, I can't sp It's inspiring, if anything. And much like I said on day 100, don't stop. I've always wanted to do this, like, as, like, a full-time thing. I realized after, like, you know, after growing up a little bit and, like, maturing, uploading half ass, like, with no, like, proper schedule isn't gonna get us there. It's just not gonna get us or me to where I want to be, you know what I mean? Obviously, with the series, it's- it's gone from, like, I swear, man, it's- there was a phase where I was like, God, please. You know, like, that Donald Trump clip of, like, Donald Trump, if you can hear me, please. I was pretty much praying to Susan Wojcicki keep being like please help me out because it started off like oh you know it was getting like decent views like about 100 views whatever and then it dipped and then it kept dipping and at one point there was one video that had like 14 views and i think it's still stuck there and obviously now like it's not the most crazy amount of numbers but the, the to see the progression that i've had from you know in the beginning of this year to you know the middle of the year to now it's crazy it's crazy to think that like it'd be a weekly occurrence for like a random video to just get a thousand views and it's like whoa 
All right, that's cool. Like the video that I had a couple days ago, the what happened last night video, that's at like almost 2K views, which is like, it's so interesting to me. Of course I appreciate it, but it's, it's just interesting to think about. I've got to mention though, as much as I was also a Casey fan back in the day, feel free to let go and take steps to your own into your own format. You've shown to be creative enough to do other things in the past, so keep experimenting with angles, music, and pacing. Damn, for all I care, every vlog you use a different lens. But in general, don't try to be another Casey, I guess. Yeah, that's true. I don't think it's a mystery that my vlogs are heavily inspired by Casey. It is, 100%. And I do want to start like molding like a bunch of different styles into one video. It would make my own style, you know what I mean? I don't know how exactly how to do it, but I think it's just gonna come with time. I personally really, really love doing the mic'd up vlog style. I also really love doing the, the David Dobrik style. I want to move more towards like a... I don't know what kind of style I... I would love to do more cinematic stuff, but it's like, it's hard when it's every day. If it was like a weekly thing, it'd be a lot easier to do cinematics. But it's a little difficult, but I think, I think I could try to do something like that. I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing until, you know, I find my own... Shtick. And I'm only talking about like the video production side of it. Obviously, I have like a pretty different like personality to Casey and stuff. The production is pretty similar. It's easy to take inspiration and fall into the same stream, but in general, from there, it should steer away again. He's a wonderful videographer and director, but he only became that because he also wandered off into his own path against other people's advice. So don't be afraid to also do that. I'll stick around regardless of any changes and creative direction. Regardless, keep it going and just try to also keep it your own creative vision. No, so shout out to Sander, man. This is the type of stuff that I like, is like, if people clown on me, sure, whatever. Oh yes, which, <laughs> speaking of which, someone did clown on me. There it is. It's interesting to watch folks with no talent become YouTubers. Okay, Ronald, what the f*** do you do? Who do you follow on your- You follow Dr. Mike? What an absolute loser. As I was saying, that's a really good example of constructive criticism that I really, really, really like. I love taking people's advice and actually like, you know, trying to improve from it. Throughout the whole time of doing the videos, like I've always been trying to like steer away from Casey's style, but I just don't know how to, you know what I mean? I don't know what I could make into like my own shtick, video production wise, of course. But yeah, don't think that I'm not trying to like steer away from that style because I actually, like I've been keeping a mental note of like, hey, how should I like steer this away? And maybe that just comes with putting more time into the videos. I just have to figure it out. That, that's really it, you know? It's your world and I'm just in it even sober I'm not thinking straight And I don't know how you do it But I'm forever ruined by you What if I'm someone you won't talk about? And so I have to say before I go That I just want you to know To change you who I used to be the reason is you I found a reason for me All right, before we get into this next part of the video, I gotta do a little bit of a context clip, all right? So Hold on Can Roll the clip, what the f- These nuts! Alright, it's time to rescue these fishies, boys. They're definitely struggling. I think ever since the death, the quality of the water has been, like, dog We got a big bucket here for, for rescuing. We're gonna dump this, some of this in there. Rescue these guys so they don't, you know, die. The goldfish is already dead, so I don't wanna, I wanna make it worse, you know? This is, like, actually an, an, an emergency. Preconditioned aquarium water allows immediate introduction of- that should be good enough. I'm gonna take the fishies out. Let's get busy, boys. This is kind of intense, I'm not gonna lie. This water is not good. I would show you guys, but I feel like PETA would start calling. I swear I'm not neglecting the fishies, man. I swear, I swear. And I think part of the problem as to why this, like, the, the, the color is turned muck musky, it's because of the filter. Alright, buddy, I'm here to save you. I'm here to save you. Trust me, boys, you guys will get a better home, alright? Please, buddy, please cooperate, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, get in there. We're good. Yes, you're in a better environment. This tray is for something different, but for now it'll be for that. The other one's really squirmy, so I gotta be careful. Perfect. There we go. All right, the pressure has been taken off. They're now in a good space. Look at them. Oh yeah. Why don't we feed you guys a little bit? Just a little bit of food on your head top. I'm sorry about the little trauma. That's my bad. So from what I understood, I have to do this like filter thing. Look at this filter. Look at this filter. It needs to be changed. 100%. I think the filter played a huge part in it being like trash. I got this like gravel cleaner thing. It's a process called siphoning. Not like the Fortnite game. It's like a water system, you know what I mean? Okay, we're gonna try to lift this thing up. This might be the worst idea imaginable, but we'll try it anyway. I go to the gym enough, I swear. If I can't lift this, I'm actually gonna be incredibly disappointed. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is more than 100 pounds because of the gravel. Yeah. So I saw the technique. You just pretty much start sucking. Oh, it's gross. It's all good. This is all for the fishy. 
There we go. Siphoning process has begun. Put that in. Pause. It's time to suck. Pause again. We're really sucking it out. So according to the fish experts, you don't really take out all the water. You just kind of take out the water that, like, about, like, three-fourths. Give or take. Oh, they're definitely happy. They're definitely happy. I'm happy if they're happy. That's a dub. Fish keeping tips. How to perform a water change on an aquarium. Fish keeping tips, dude. You have to get involved with yourself and then suck on it really hard. Pause. Pick up all the algae. Yes, sir. Scrub it all up. So I guess you don't really want to take out all the bacteria out of this, because obviously this is, it's full of bacteria. And then from what I learned, that there's some bacteria that are actually good for the tank. So now what we got to do, I got to take this water out, put the new, like a fresh water, like fresh water in, and then add half a thing of these, this, uh, this little dechlorinator thing. Perfect. Got it! All right, now you got the contacts. It's time to uh, put these guys into, new, into the new aquarium, man. Look at this water, look at this water. Nothing but clear. Actually, there's an explanation for that. So the last time, I didn't change the filter right away. That was one of the big reasons as to why like the tank like clouded up really bad. And I think also the goldfish death added more cloud to this whole thing. I mean, it's fine now, so we're good. Oh, actually, the other explanation as to why like the water was kind of bad last time. So what you're supposed to do, if you're using tap water, you're supposed to put like that dechlorinator thing. And then after that, you have to like let the filter run for about 24 hours before you can put the fish in. Last time I just put the fish in right away. I think that's one of the reasons why. So I didn't make that mistake this time and I actually waited. All right, here we go, boys. And drop. That's one. Perfect. Here's your new home, guys. Outside of the goldfish dying, I think I'm a pretty good fish dad, all right? Well, I guess it's not a new home, but it's a renovated home. You know what I'm saying? Under the sea. Under the sea. I don't know what he's doing over there. What's he doing? It's that fish right there. What are you guys doing, man? Oh, there we go. Ooh. You don't know who did it. I don't want to make this talk too philosophical because I, it's not that deep. But first of all, before I get into the philosophical talk, the food was great. I was actually planning on going to Hoo Ha to have some noodles, but instead I went to Super Buffet because I was interested in them crabs, boy. Crawfish. I mentioned a while ago how I'm a huge advocate when it comes to being comfortable with being alone. I guess be comfortable with yourself, you know what I mean? Like, be comfortable with doing stuff on your own. Don't be too hung up on, like, being around people, you know what I mean? Um, especially for me, since I don't want to depend depend on others and I don't think you guys should either I don't I don't think depending on others is like the best thing I think a certain level of dependency on other people is a good thing but at the end of the day depend on yourself first and it took me a while to really get comfortable with that idea and one of the things that really helped me out a lot like transitioning into that like idea and being comfortable with it is eating on your own going to like a restaurant and eating like by yourself it seems like it's not the biggest deal but uh, it does help out with like being comfortable because you're going out there and, you know, it's supposed to be like a social thing, you know what I mean, where you go to a restaurant with someone else. But if you can do that on your own, it's a pretty big step. But yeah, for those of you that um, want to feel comfortable with yourself, I guess, go out in public on your own, man. Go to a movie theater on your own. Never tried that yet, but, you know, it's all good. But yeah, that's just kind of what I wanted to talk about, I guess. It's a good thing, I think. I think it's a good thing to, to be less dependent on others. I used to have a pretty bad tendency of dependency. Or whether that be a friend, a partner, whatever it may be. As I mentioned, having a certain amount of dependency on other people is a good thing, but if that's all you chase, man, that ain't gonna work. That, that ain't gonna cut it, son. I suggest you guys do it. And if you don't like it, it's all good. It's not for everybody. Just my suggestions, just my thoughts. Wanted to share it with you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Turn around. Now I got options. Begging me to go, but I tell her to stop it. Always got the key and my heart is to lock it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like a pro, but you're really a novice